Welcome to Dare to Leap, a conversation and community supporting women just like you to gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve with CEO and founder of Virtual Expert Training, Kathy Guggenauer. This is Dare to Leap, and now here's the powerhouse tiara-wearing Kathy Guggenauer. Welcome, everybody. I'm so excited to have you here today with us. I have the great pleasure of interviewing a friend, colleague, and business owner that I will tell you I absolutely adore, and I know you will also by the time you are done listening to today's podcast. Her name is Pat Taylor, and she is an operations specialist who is on the verge of creating her new next chapter. Pat has never been happy to just stay put. She is always looking for the next way to grow. In 1998, Pat was hired as a part-time Christmas seasonal checkout operator for a large retailer. Oh, I love that so much. Christmas seasonal checkout operator. I can just see you, Pat. You, oh my gosh. Now, I, I'm not even done introducing you yet, but I already have to have you say, Pat, how tall are you? I am four foot 11 and every bit of it is dynamite. I can That's just see thing. you <laughs> as the Christmas seasonal checkout operator. Yes. Who could barely see over the counter and people probably said, are you an elf? Because she's so cute. <laughs> I got that. And you did. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Um, and you guys are going to hear how hilarious Pat is. Um, when I met her in person, she said things like, don't ask me if I'm standing. The answer is yes. <laughs> um, so Pat stayed on at that retailers after Christmas and was working at the corporate offices in several different positions in the next decade. She worked with this company for 35 years and they were so lucky to have you, Pat. Not bad for a seasonal part-time job, huh? Pat says, and I totally agree. And then 2015 was her next big growth spurt. And I'm going to have Pat take over the story from there. Pat, tell us anything that we didn't get from um, your, your stint with that big real retail and then your next growth spurt that happened in 2015. Um, okay. I'm going to make one minor correction to what you just said. Oh, okay. Was, sorry. It was 1979. Um, <laughs> so that makes, and I was just a baby, just a baby at that time, but. Oh, you had to be, because look at you today. If you guys aren't looking on YouTube, you need to come and look because Pat is beautiful. And I look like a crazy woman today because I have been running from one call to the next. And she looks like she just stepped out of the magazine. So go ahead, Pat. Okay. Well, that we couldn't end there for all I care. That's, that's all we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it, it was kind of traumatic. So I'm not going to laugh about it too much because um, my husband had gone through some very serious health issues. And as a matter of fact, after those 35 years with this major retailer, I was workforce reduced. Um, stores started closing. The business was not doing as well as it did. And that's what you do then is you, you start workforce reducing. And I got my phone call to tell me that I was being workforce reduced in the hospital when my husband was having a stroke. So it was like not happy news. Um, so in one day he lost his business. He was a business owner. I lost my job and our life changed. But instead of being completely like that's the end where it's over, we said, screw it. We're going to do something bigger and better now. Um, we moved to be close to our son who lives in Wichita, Kansas. That's where we are now um, because he was the dad whisperer who could help me take care of dad. And I said, I'm never going to put my life and my fortune and my future into somebody else's hands. So I'm going to dare to leap. And that's when I found Kathy on Facebook. And I went, you know what? This is just crazy enough that it could work. And uh, I never looked back. It was the best thing I did for myself. I, I can work in pajamas and I do dress up once in a while. Um, 
but I can start work when I want, quit anytime I need to, um, take vacations when I want to. And um, it, it's been perfect. It's been the perfect way to end 35 years of being um, at somebody else's beck and call. In fact, for several decades of that 35 years, I started work on Monday morning and came home on Friday night. Um, oh, and I traveled oh all around the country um, doing what it was I was doing, um, training or auditing or whatever that was. And uh, it got tiring and I went, nope, not anymore. So now when I go someplace traveling, my husband goes with me and our dog, Sandy, and uh, we do oh. what we want when we want and nobody else can tell us different. So that's, that's it. <clears throat> so you had quite a career. For 35 years and you spent the majority of it Monday did, did you say you would leave on Monday and come home when Friday night I left on Monday oh morning and sometimes I had to leave on Sunday um I flew or drove there there was there was nothing to driving um 10 hours to get to work and 10 hours to mm. get back home again and working all week at mm. the time it was my life Bob had his own business it was a home-based business he was there with the kids um, and it's just what we felt we had to do. Um, now we know different. Yeah. Well, and congratulations for having such a successful career because you rose through the ranks during those 35 years. I did part-time yeah. Christmas seasonal to corporate office, several different positions in the corporate office. And I even ran my own location, which was a reverse logistics location, which would take more time to explain than I want to take. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, and then, yeah, that's life. Right? Yeah. So operations, am, am I right? That operations is like in your blood because you did it for so long and it's just like second nature for you. I, a, a lot of my 35 years was being presented with a problem without a solution. And I had to fix it and make sure it never happened again. So, and, and part of that was, I was what they called a regional store systems trainer. And that meant in these retail locations, I had to know every position from the parking lot to the, to the service area in the back. Um, break it down into smaller pieces, find a way to fix the problem, train everybody to do that and make sure the problem never happened again. So that's where I thrive. Give me a problem. And let me just go through it and we can take care of that. And I think so many smaller businesses, you don't have to be the big retailers to have, I know what I want. I just don't know how to get there. And I need somebody who can help me figure it out. And so that's what my team and I do. We fix the problems yeah, and, and make it better. And Pat, um, one of the things, there's many, many things I admire about you. One of them is you had all of those years with really tough work. I mean, that, that is not easy to constantly be taking problems and fixing them and, you know, being that problem solver and going from store to store to do that brand new people that you're talking with each time who probably were like, who are you and why are you here? <laughs> I was not very <laughs> impressive to look at. So I had to be mean. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, you had to be, you had to really, you know, make your presence be known because, you know, you look like a sweet lady. That's how you look. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really, really do. And people could very much take you for granted. And in that era, you know, I was in that era too. Women were already taken for granted and overlooked. So how did you overcome those kinds of challenges? You know what? Humor always plays a part in it, but, um, I, I have had my own personal outlook on life. And, um, and it's one of the things I'm going to talk off base for just a second here. And it, it's, it's uh, values based is, is how I live my life. And that's how I run my business. And um, if I were to pick the top five values that represent who I am, the, the five that I have is um, community, diversity, integrity, generosity, and kindness. And oh, uh, I love that. Yeah. And every so often you, um, you um, um, act like your mom. 
I get the mom voice, and that usually is what does it. <laughs> so, um, and and I know you as a very kind, generous human being, Pat. And that is what I wanted to say was, you know, one of the many things that I admire about you is all those years in that tough environment where you had to make a, take a stand and, and, you know, be strong. It didn't make you a bitter or unhappy or mean person. No, because that would only affect me. It it wouldn't have changed anyone else's life. It would only change mine. And I was ready to change. So. Would you be my mom? Would you adopt me? Yes. Can I holler me sometimes? <laughs> eat your vegetables. <laughs> oh my God. I so need to eat my vegetables. You're right. I do. I do. Um, well, you and I are, you know, you are, you couldn't possibly be my mother. We are, you know, similar ages, um, but I would love to have had a nurturing mother like you. Thank you. So, um, and your husband had a home-based business Mm -hmm. and so did how did he feel about raising your children and how many kids do you have and how many grandkids do you have fill us in on all those we have three um steven rick and chris uh chris is the girl christina um we lived in upper northern minnesota uh town called staples uh, by Brainerd, if any Minnesotans are out there. Oh, Brainerd. Oh, yes, yeah. absolutely. Anybody Brainerd. who watches Fargo knows Brainerd. Yes. <laughs> and that brings me to another point. When we watched Fargo, we didn't have any idea what anybody was laughing about. It was like, so what's so funny about that? But that's that's where I was born and raised. But we were in a I school, love it. And the kids pretty much started school and, and finished school. So it, it, it was a, a small town living and it was perfect life, a perfect way to raise kids. Um, now they're all grown and I have seven grandchildren. Um, it makes me proud to say three of my seven are adopted, which brings part of the community, part of our life. Um, so that's very awesome to me. Um, no grandchildren, great grandchildren yet, but I have a 25 year old grandson. So there's, there's hope. Um, so we'll Well, you and I are in a race to the finish on that because (laughs) I have, I have a 25 ish year old one too, and a 21 year old one and 18 year old one. So I'm just seeing who's going to give me a great grandchild first. So (laughs) our our oldest is, is going to be 50 this year. Um, which means that last year we celebrated our 50th anniversary. So uh, yeah, some longevity has to do with that. Too. That's when amazing. you grow up with somebody, it's easier to um, work harder to make it all work. So. I like that. Mm-hmm. And you have made it work and your husband made it work while you were gone. Yes. So it's did. an amazing partnership that the two of you have. Yes, we do. That, that's one of the things I'm most proud of because nobody yeah. really at the time thought that that was possible. So, yeah. yeah. And, and, and you did it, you broke that mold. So you, you have dared to leap in so many ways. So talk to us about what happened, um, you know, how you decided to leave and then why you decided that you wanted to start your own business or that you even needed to have a, a next chapter rather than just retiring and knitting or whatever. Um, I don't know what people who retire do. (laughs) I I, know there was money, money things. So much happened so quickly to both of us that there had to be more income. Um, When I started, I was very happy to just simply work. Um, All I wanted was to have the work. And um, the reason I'm making this pivot in my business right now is, and, to describe the clients that I want to work with, I can describe myself. And by that, I mean, all I was doing was working. Um, I wasn't growing. I wasn't expanding. Um, I wasn't feeling the same passion I was in the beginning. And I went, okay, I can, I can do one of two things. I can just be content or I can grow. Um, and the funny thing happened is I went, you know what I can do? I can hire virtual assistants. And so I started hiring <laughs> virtual assistants to help me 
So now my virtual assistant business can grow. And now what I do is um, I find the clients, I find, get and keep the clients and I subcontract with other VAs. And now I have a team that specialize in everything, um, administrative, social media, website design. So we, do, we have the capability of doing so much for so many. Um, and we're all doing our dare to leap and we're all doing it together and the passion's back and the growing yeah. is back. So that's what yeah. I want to do for my clients. If you're one of those that are saying, no, I can't hire somebody because I have to do it all. It's my business. I have to do it all. I have to ask two questions. What would you accomplish if you could be cloned? And how much money are you losing by working it all by yourself? Because if you ask yourself, what am I worth in my business? You could hire three or four people to do that. And you could focus on the things that only you can do. And you're the only one who can grow your business. And you're the only one who can find the passion in your business and let us take care of the other stuff for you. So. Oh, Pat, that is so beautifully said. And so many business owners and entrepreneurs need to hear that message mm -hmm. because they are getting burned out. They are overworking. They are losing their passion. You experienced it and I've experienced it. So Pat, did you, um, when you first, uh, well, not when you first, but when you had, when you were running your own business and you realized you were stopping feeling that passion, did you struggle to to let go and to delegate. I did. So talk a little bit about that and how did you overcome that so that well, others can learn from you? I had one client and if she's listening to this and I hope she does, I just adore her. She was the first person who hired me. She hired me very early on and um, we were a great match, but eight hours of my day was working for her and I loved it. But I wasn't working for me anymore. And I decided I needed to work for me. Um, so I had to reduce hours. And finally, I found her another VA that could step right in and take over. So she didn't have to lose any of her business time. Um, and I could move on to create my business time. So that you, you do adjust a little bit. But that's also when you find out where the passion went and how much you can do that only you can do and how much somebody else can do to help you. And that was a little bit of a hard lesson, but once again, I knew where to find the best virtual assistants. <laughs> so, and where is that Pat on your team for one thing? Yes, on my team. <laughs> um, and, and that, that is one thing too, because I, the, the great thing about everyone that I've hired, I'm sure that you have hired, anyone who hires us will find out. You don't have to train us. We come fully trained. Um, we may need a little bit of information from you, um, but you don't have to teach us how to be social media managers. You don't have to teach us how to be bookkeepers. You don't have to teach us how to do all of those things. We come fully formed and grown and just willing to be able to step in. So that's a big part of it as well. Um, one more thing, if I can. Um, oh, absolutely. I'm loving every word that you, you are. You are speaking my language because that's who I want to hire. It's who I want to work with. And it's who everybody else dreams of having. And they might be thinking, this is for real. There are people really like that. Yes, there are. So keep telling us. Keep preaching, Pat. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to quote Abraham Lincoln because, I mean, why not? Right? Yes. Um, when I heard this quote, I went, oh, yes, that's it. Abraham Lincoln once says, give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend the first four hours sharpening the axe. That's what we do for our clients. We don't just come in. What we do first and foremost, I call it a discovery call. And we talk. And you tell me, what it is you need, what your pain points are, where you want your business to go, what you feel are the things you need to do in the first 30, then 60, then 90 days to get you on track. 
And then we work out what I also call a strategic blueprint where we talk about it and we work through it. And then we come in fully prepared and not weighing you down. We are able to lift a weight off of you and we can all just take off run and then. That's yeah. the plan. Oh, Pat, that is such a dream. So um, thank you for sharing that. That is a great uh, model that you have set up there to bring clients on so that uh, you're not giving them extra work to do. They're not being weighed down by bringing on somebody that they have to train. Mm -hmm. You're coming in ready to hit the road running and help them grow like crazy. That so that's really cool. exciting. Yeah. Okay. Well, and you bring all of. <laughs> you, you oh, what did you this. say? <laughs> It's like, wow, who thought of that? You did, dear heart. And I listen. So thank you. You you are a brilliant woman. You are incredibly coachable. You you take everything that anybody um and, and by the way, you guys, Pat has learned from a lot of the best people, not just me. She is amazing. She has this amazing background. How do I know? Because not only um, has she gone through my training program, but I was smart enough to hire her to be on my team. And let's take a little dive into that side of it, Pat. Pat works as a coach for me on my team and coaches other virtual assistants to help them grow. So Pat, what made you decide that you wanted to be a coach on my team? And uh, how, how do you like doing that? Well, first of all, I adore it. And, and coaching was part of when I was a trainer. Um, and my philosophy of coaching is to uh, teach, train, coach, and encourage. Because um, there's four steps to it. You can't just say, you know, why aren't you done yet? Or you have to do it this way. Um, <laughs> because that's how I was talked to many times. So that's what I want to do is because just because that would have been my answer doesn't mean it's the right answer for them. So I always make sure that they tell me what it is that they're looking for, what they need to do, um, what they want to take their business to. Um, and I love doing that because it encourages me all the way around. And every so often I go, oh, wow, I was really smart. I think I'm going to start doing that too. <laughs> so <laughs> you never stop learn, never stop learning. Yeah. And, um, you know, a lot of sayings, do you know the saying about what happens if you stop learning? I think there's a saying on that. You know, that one, you start dying. <laughs> That's it. You stop living. Yeah. Or start dying. That's exactly right. Yeah. And as a virtual assistant, a virtual expert, a project manager, a social media manager, all those different things that your team does. If you stop learning, you just have to throw up your hands and give up. Mm -hmm. because it, it is ever changing right now, right? It is. There, there are programs that, you know, I'm hearing them for the first time that now are very familiar to me. But the first time I heard the word Kajabi, it was like, okay, what language is that? Um, <laughs> but it, it is. And everybody has different things that will work for their business. So that's why you need a special, a specialist in so many different programs, software, um, and they, they get that here and they can, they can go where their heart leads them on their business path. And some people are very techy and God bless them because I am not. <laughs> Kathy and Me I neither. Have tech levels. <laughs> <laughs> like, please. That's please why help. you hire. Yes. That's why you hire a team of people who are good at tech or whatever it is, tech, bookkeeping, whatever it is that you, Pat, you are the project manager, you are the overseer of your team, and you bring on those who are good at those specializations that you're not, right? Absolutely, because nobody can do everything. And, and as my own business owner, I thought for a while I could, and finally I went, you know what, this is crazy. Um, I, for me to take three hours to try and do something, I could... I could hire somebody to do 10 hours work for what it costs me to spend three hours. Um, and that's another thing to keep in mind when, when you're looking to hire is how much is my time worth for my business? Um, and if you spend, you know, an hour on a thousand dollars, that's an, that's a thousand dollars that it took you an hour to do. You could hire people and get 
three times that work done. Um, and you could be doing something that only you can do. So that's the philosophy that I like to try and show. Because we all have yeah. our talents. God bless us all. But that doesn't mean we can do everything. So it's nice to have other people. Yeah. So, you know, for example, I, I do use Kajabi. Um, and I know how to log in. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Then I look at it and go, oh my gosh, what, what, what do I click? What do I go? And then I remind myself, I have a VA, I have a virtual expert who does this. I'm just going to ask them to do it because for a second I thought, oh, I can just log in and go look and see if somebody paid that was supposed to pay or go look and see what the link is to send to somebody. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I can't even do that much. It would take me an hour and Pat, you're right. I charge a thousand dollars an hour. So am I going to waste that thousand dollars on trying to find that link? Or I'm, am I going to email my virtual expert who knows Kajabi inside and out and can give me that link in less than five minutes? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's amazing. That's one of the reasons, because uh, I named my business Accomplish More Together. Uh, and you told us in our training um, name your business so they know what you can do for them. And I thought, you know what? I know we can all do spectacular things alone because we always do. But what we can accomplish so much more when we work together. And I thought that's that's the business I want is a business where we accomplish more together. Yeah. So. And, you know, my philosophy is together we all rise higher. Absolutely. Yeah. So when people work with you, their businesses grow faster and you guys work together as partners. You can help them achieve their goals by doing what you and your team specialize in and they can do what they love and grow their business. Absolutely. And then yeah. everybody's winning. It's a win, win, win. I mean, win, 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 another win and another one <laughs> every day. <laughs> winning every day. Yeah. I love that. So Pat, where do you live? Where are you located right now? Right now we're in Wichita, Kansas, but before the year is out, we're going to be moving down to the Tampa Bay, Clearwater, Florida area because our son that we followed here from Georgia um, uh -huh. is moving. So, so are we, but more than that, um, Bob needs sunshine. Bob needs your husband. Uh, yeah. And although he's not walking so good now, he has this mobility bike that he rides, And I want him to be able to go outside and take a walk around the block with him and uh, enjoy the warmth and the sunshine. And we deserve that. And we're giving that to ourselves now. That is so exciting. And I can't wait to come visit you. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause right now I'm in the Midwest, just like you are. So, you know, they're Wichita, Kansas and, uh, Missouri aren't that very different. Not that I wouldn't want to see you um, no matter where you are, but uh, I would come and visit you in Florida if you invite me. And I'm, I am actually jealous that you guys are doing that. And you might think, well, why don't you come too? And you're going to understand why. Kind of the same reason you're following your son. All our kids and grandkids are in this area. So we want to stay close to them. And family you never know. is the family is the most important of all. We have a daughter who lives in California, so we will be from port to port, sunshine to sunshine, and uh, which is another great thing about this job. Um, we have gone out there thinking we're going to be there for two weeks and stayed for 10 weeks because why go home? I have everything I need when I have my laptop, so my business can go where I go, so we can do yeah. that. So... Um, anybody thinking about, let's, let's talk on, on a slightly different topic. Anybody thinking about, wow, I, I really love this idea of what Pat's talking about. I would like to become uh, a virtual assistant who can pick up and go whenever they want to. Um, Pat, any um, other things that you can share with people about why working for yourself as a virtual assistant is a great way to go? It's, it's great because you truly are your own boss. Um, and even when you're doing the training, um, you go at your own pace. Um, if something happens in your life and you need to take a week off, you, you can. The world doesn't end because this is your life now. This is your business. You can prioritize. Um, 
And yes, you can take it wherever you want to be. Um, and it's, how can I say this? Okay, people will think I'm crazy. If I wake up at two <laughs> o'clock in the morning. We already know that. That's true. That, that, that was pretty much a given in the first 30 <laughs> seconds. Um, but if I wake up at two o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep, I go to work. And then I take a nap later on in the day. Um, so the, you can do that. And it took a while to give myself permission to be my boss. Um, but boy, once I did, I'm the best boss I ever had. So Woo! that's right. And, you know, Pat, we can all recreate our jobs. Like those things that we didn't like about working for somebody else, we can recreate for ourselves if we're not careful. Um, and yeah, for example, just like you said, there are a lot of people who think, well, I'm going to start a VA business. And I'm going to work nine to five, Monday through Friday. And if that's what you enjoy, great. But mm -hmm. if it's not what you enjoy, guess what? You can do whatever you want. Yeah. And, and, and that's the, that's the thing that is so freeing because, um, family, how important family is. If something's happening in the family, you don't have to ask for time off. If it happens unexpectedly, okay, fine. You can do it. I mean, it's those kind of things that when you've worked for 35 years in a corporate where you're punching a clock or you have your next meeting and you have to be there or you know, you have to explain to 12 people why you weren't. That's the kind of stuff you get used to doing, but you never liked it, but you had to do it. And now it's like, this really is freeing. It really is. And, and so you work differently. You work smarter, um, hmm. for one thing. Uh, you don't necessarily work faster because you're not under a clock. It's not like I only have five minutes to get this done and then I have to take a break or thank God I get a break. Um, you, you, <laughs> yeah. do, you do what you do for your own business and the pressure is off. Mm -hmm. so, I'm very happy. <clears throat> so, I <laughs> I'm very happy you did also. So um, for anybody who I want to get some more philosophy from you, for anybody out there right now who is thinking, you know, all this sounds amazing. And I would like to either, and you can hear my dogs and my husband probably. So, you know, I'm home, you know, this is for real. Mm -hmm. um, it's that time of evening where my dogs are ready for me to quit work and play with them. So I forgive me for that interruption, but um, what was I talking about, Pat? Oh, I was going to ask you about. Uh, <laughs> um, so for people who are listening to this, whether it's people who are like, I would really like to work with Pat. She sounds awesome. But um, when's the time really right for me to hire somebody like Pat? Pat, what would be your answer for that? If you are thinking, um, how can I do more? How can I get more done? How, if you're thinking any of that, it's time. Um, and here's another thing about a virtual assistant that's so important for you to know if you're thinking of hiring one is, we don't work 20 hours a week or 40 hours a week or 80 hours a week. We work what you need us to work. And if it's five hours a month, because that's all you need, that's fine. You get to decide. You, it is your business. You get to prioritize. And it's our business to say, that sounds good to me. Um, but you don't have to. The whole thing about being virtual is all of those rules of working are expanded. We, we, can, we can make it work for you and make it work for us. But many people say, I can't afford 40 hours a week. I don't need 40 hours a week. We come fully trained, we work when you need us, and we leave when you don't. Um, and that's the great thing about a virtual assistant. You don't pay us for vacation pay, you don't pay us uh, payroll taxes, you don't have to worry about holiday pay or, or anything like that. When we work, we get paid. When we're not working, we don't get paid. It's that simple. And so the flexibility that it gives you and the flexibility that we have 
makes it all work for both of us, for all of us. We're winning, winning again. Yeah. So you're available on an as needed basis. So yeah. if somebody has a hot project, they're launching um, or they've got a new system they want to put in place. Um, you're available to help them in that time. And then if they don't need you after that, you're on pause until they need you again. Absolutely. Um, what I will tell you is that most times when you work with somebody as good as Pat and her team, you're going to go, oh, I didn't realize how awesome this is to have somebody just to turn this stuff over to. So yes, we're done with that, but could you do this next? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and that happens all the time, doesn't it, Pat? Mm-hmm. But yeah. again, win-win. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So um, you're not an employee. You're an independent contractor. You're your own business. Just like the people that you work for, they have their own business. Mm -hmm. So you guys are uh, equals business to business, not employee to employer. And that does make the costs um, so much less and the flexibility so much greater. Yes. You described that very well, Pat. Thank yeah. you so much. You're very welcome. Yeah. So anybody who's thinking about, oh, I need to get to know more about Pat. I think I might want one of those free discovery calls she was talking about. How do they get a hold of you and get to know more about you and book one of those calls with you? The fastest way to learn more about me would be to go to my website. Um, and that is www.accomplishmoretogether.com. Um, and from there, there's so much in there that you can read about and learn about. And there's also ways to contact me um, to schedule a call. Um, my contact information is there as well. And uh, that way you get to do a little bit of peeking and seeing before we actually talk, <laughs> which is something you should do. So accomplishmoretogether.com is the best way to get a hold of me. And we will include links like that in the show notes. Perfect. Before I let you go, I just want to mention your beautiful background. Um, not only is Zoom amazing. So anybody that isn't looking on YouTube, if you want to see how Pat's background looks, um, you can learn more about people. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love being on Zoom with people where you get to see their homes and get to learn a little bit more about them. You can see that Pat lives she walks her talk. You can see angels in the background. You can see her beautiful family pictures. And um, just this is who Pat is. I can tell you from working with her for years now. Pat, I don't even remember how long we've worked together. Since Do August you? of it's been 2018. August of 2018. Wow. And this recording is uh, mid-2021. So, yeah, quite a few years. It's, uh -huh. it's flown by. It's been it awesome. Yeah. And Pat is the real deal. Um, there is nothing fake about her. If you want to work with somebody who has the qualities and all of the background and the experience and education that Pat has, I can't recommend anyone higher than I recommend Pat. To me, the best way that I can recommend somebody is if I actually have them working with me because I can work with the best of the best. I get to choose the cream of the crop. And Pat is one of those. Thank so, you. Pat, thank you so much for spending this time with me today and sharing your wonderful philosophy and your incredible spirit. You are very welcome. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you for listening to Dare to Leap. Say hello and access additional resources at virtualexperttraining.com. There, you'll be able to connect with Kathy to share your feedback and join her community. Join us again soon on Dare to Weep. Until then. Mm -hmm.